Hello and welcome to another player profile and projection here on Talking Yanks where we are giving you an episode a day every day until opening day. Today we are talking about Jonathan Loizaga, your hero from Nicaragua. Jake, you excited to talk about Johnny Laws? I think so. Uh, this is another... This is just kind of a weird one because this is this is like a full talking Yanks lifestyle. I know we're we're running into more and more of these, but I remember when Johnny Laza got called up to get a spot start because he was on the forty mm-hmm. man uh straight from double A and it was like, Wow, this this dude's got pretty electric stuff. Uh and we've seen the peaks of that, man. I mean 2021, Jonathan Loizaga, 70.2 innings pitched, a 2.17 ERA. Uh, that sinker be sinking. That slider can be sliding, uh, but it's mostly that sinker be sinking. Um, and, yeah, I mean, this is another guy that it's just so tough with relievers. It, you know, this guy's got a injury history. And I was going to put him in the bucket if you have – if you have high expectations for this Yankee season, this guy can be an important part of that. But you can't really bank on it because we've, you know, only one year. I guess two years with 50 appearances. Yes. But one of those years isn't <clears throat> super impressive slash I think he started really slow in 22 and then was figuring it out down the stretch. I think by the end, we he was back to normal, but the stats aren't yeah. pretty. He chatted us a little bit. Yeah, that's where it gets interesting. Like, looking at last year, it's like, yeah, oh yeah, he's a top three. He's top three guy. He's top three guy. He's, I, I had him taking over getting save opportunities uh, on his PPP last right? year. That was a and, sexy, sexy spring training. And now, I don't know. He's very good when he pitches. But he doesn't pitch that much, and we've been saying this for five years now. Yeah. Like, well, if they could build up his innings, and that's the story now out of spring as we record this, the last updates, they are going to try and use him in the multiple inning role, thinking that will keep him healthy. I don't, maybe there is logic and understanding that, like less often, so more pitches when right. you do is a healthier way to go about it. Then just blow your arm out every night after night. Yeah, that makes sense. So is that the reasoning to try and keep him uh, healthy? That was one article I read like that is one of the reasons. But if you can keep him healthy, that'd be great. So let's find a way to do it. Doing him one inning at a time wasn't keeping him healthy. So sure, try yeah. it. But he was unhealthy when he was a starter in the minors. It, like it's his, been like the story of his career. It's why he's yeah. a reliever. Yeah, he's been. It's been a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's it it goes back almost you know almost every year of his career, um, so that part's scary. Uh, the part that should be exciting is the upside. I I mean, this guy, the talent speaks like the velo is still there. His average fastball last year was ninety eight miles per hour, uh, and he threw that seventy six percent of the time. So like. You can kind of know what's coming with Johnny, and guys still can't barrel it, which, um, I don't know, there's there's only so many pitchers like that in Major League Baseball. So if if he can give us that 2021 season, or, I, I mean, this is a guy that probably a lot of Yankee fans, if this team can get themselves locked in for a playoff spot, however that is, whether that's division or wild card, I mean, he's one of, he would be, one of the grouping of players that it would be like, hey, let's, if you had to pick, like, great full season or make sure he's ready for the playoffs, this guy would be a make sure he's ready for the playoffs. Yes, I think so. But how do you even get there? I don't know. The other weird thing that I'm looking at. Sure. No it, strikeouts last year? No, but he never really is. They just have a bunch of grounders. His... Clay's got a sinker. His is more like 
your two seam sinker runner where it just kind of keeps going on you, not like a darting down. Sometimes he has that. Um, when it's a starter, he's throw the four seam a lot, remember? And then it was like, hey, guys, throw the other pitch. And then he did. That was good. His inning slash score matrix, mm. he only appeared in the seventh or eighth kind of in close games last year when he did get back. So if he's healthy, they like him in high leverage. They're just going to not use him, it seems, or they're going to prepare to not use him as like just the eighth inning guy or just the seventh inning guy, it's going to be like he's the seven and eight, or he's the eight and nine, like King. Right. Interested to see how he does there. It is so weird to me to have all these back-end guys that aren't strikeout guys. Yeah. It's very odd dynamic. Usually your back-end relievers are going to be strikeout guys. Well, yeah, and we've, you know, we've, we've circled around this in a lot of Talking Yanks episodes, and it's it's... I think I think we stumbled into a theory that the Yankees had a theory that ties into all of their minor league hitting things and, <clears throat> you know, exit velo, exit velo, exit velo, that Jonathan Loizaga and Clay Holmes are soft contact pitchers because they throw heavy sinkers, so you, you still make contact, but you don't get the barrel of the bat on it. That sometimes leads to these ugly innings where we've seen, you know, choppers or tappers up the third baseline that it's like, oh, infield, single city, uh, that the Yankees, we think, quantified as luck, that it's like, well, there's something to that. Like, if you're giving up weak contact, that's going to lead to, I don't know, tough ground balls in the infield, and we've had problems with the shortstop position over the years. Is the Wise good at fielding his position? In my head, I have him pretty good. He's pretty athletic. I can't picture him, like, throwing it over there. I just feel like maybe we haven't seen it a lot. I think he's made some nice plays. I, I feel like I have that in my head. Okay. I'm going to find some. I have, him, I have him being a little bouncy off the mound and, like, letting some throws eat to first. Okay. Um, and that excites me. I, yeah, I wonder if the Yankees, you know, looking at Jonathan Loisega's page, his 2021 season where he was the best version of himself, um, he had 25 one-plus inning appearances. So that's what they were doing. So I, I guess if you're looking and at his totally like out on that now. If you're looking at his body of work, um, I guess that's what they're going to try to tap into. Oh again. wow! I just watched. Ooh, that maybe is what you're talking about. It was two on, two outs, two two count against the Brewers last year, and it's like a slow. It's like a hardish chopper, but right to him, and he takes his time and just kind of like walks two steps in the mound, fires one over there. Yeah, I mean, listed 5'11", 165, that's kind of a good shortstop build, you know? Oh, yeah, he can feel his position. Yeah. Two on, one out, Altuve up, yanks up two in the eighth. Yep. Bouncer right back to him, turns, fires it to second. Yep. He kind of has, like, a cockiness about it. Yeah, he, like, throws. He takes his time. Yeah. And then, like, almost like when you long toss, and you're like, all right, I'm going to let it eat now a little bit. Uh, that was another one in Houston where... This one, tied game, bottom of the 10th, 0-2 pitch, right back to him. What's to do with this one? He goes to second for one, and they, uh, fuck. You want to talk about it? Um, Glaber's threw it in the dugout. Remember this? Against oh, Tigers? yeah, I do remember that. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was like an unbelievable Glaber moment, but believable. I mean, it was like 20 feet off yeah. the line and Sailed. straight into the dugout. Cost yeah. him the game. Yanks up eight to one. And that wasn't the random video. Don't let that be labeled as Jonathan Loisga's random video. These aren't random. These aren't random. And that four and most is scouting. He did he had five balls back to him last year and he handled all of them with ease. Granted, they were pretty slow, but then Clays are slow too. Man, come okay. All right. I like I like Loisga. I wish him health. I want to depend on him. He's not dependable. He's good when he's there. What's like the longest stretch of health? It's 2021. The whole season? Yeah. He didn't have any? Yeah. April 1st. He uh, probably had it a, looked like he... I think he had August. an IL stint. I think they gave him a well. breather in September. I think he was one of the Yankees that came back at the end of... The very end of the season. It looks like he pitched April. Um, maybe a maybe a one-week breather at the around the All-Star break. Um, and then he took most of September off. In 2021? Yeah. 
He pitched September 1st and 3rd, and then he came back the 29th and had three appearances before the playoffs. So he was a classic injured Yankee, will be back before the playoffs, but without full shoulder injury. The Yankees reinstated Luizaga from the 10-day injured list Wednesday, reported Pete Caldera of the Burning mm. Record. And Andrew Heaney went to AAA. Mm. Okay. I hope he stays healthy because I, I've always believed in what he can be. Like, I've always wanted him and I believed he could be a, the next step right. than what he is. But he, his injury history hasn't allowed him to be. Yeah, I I get a little nervous because I I feel like any of the speeches I'm about I can give about Johnny um, come off almost Severino ish, um, and that obviously left kind of a kind of a bad taste in our mouth. But hey, let's let's get a healthy spring training. Let's prove that you can be Johnny, whether that's eighth, ninth, whether that can be a pure setup role or whatever that looks like. I got an interesting one for you. And then I, I think if we check that box, it, those boxes, the story then turns into, can we have a full tilt Jonathan Loisaga that's available to go one plus innings in a playoff series? Because that's a, that's a serious chess piece. I've got a thought for you. Just, you it's a thinking problem. Okay. A Love brain that. exercise. This is my specialty. With uh, bullpen help coming. Right. And Loisaga pretty cheap on a one-year deal. Any chance he's part of a trade to like another, like uh, uh, fill a hole for fill a hole for a team if the Yanks need something else? And like, I, like they're not going to do Clay because if the season's going well, he's their closer. Right. If they're building Loisaga up for this multi inning role, and and they have like F. Ross, Trevino, other people going. I, I guess know. what's coming back. I'd have to look at past trades. But the lies are expiring is just hard. It would be in my head like an Adani Echeverria, Harrison Bader. Not obviously that we gave up more for those, but it would be like someone to fill a playoff role that they think Loisaga wouldn't be. Yeah, it's just tough for me because I can't even Efros Trevino. Of all the Yankees bullpen options, the number one weapon healthy is would be Jonathan Loisaga. Not Clay. Not for like multi inning playoff series, no. Well, Five we don't know if he can do multi innings. We've well, we've seen him. He has. Yeah, yeah but that's led to injuries. I don't know. It's all led to injuries. I'm but just yeah, saying, I like, just, this, if, like he's, if he's going out, we need a Jonathan Loisaga back in. So next week's not promised, so it's like Nothing he could is. be a guy. Nothing is. And I mean, Clay goes down in camp, and I think we're talking about our closer. I thought that last year. I don't know. Right. But Clay, I just think Clay's been healthy. Oh, I know. But I'm, I just don't know if you can pencil the Isaac in for anything because he's going to get hurt. Right. But if, let's say, Clay Holmes goes down, lost his shoes, can't pitch. For a day, yeah. For, for, day, sure. for opening day, if Clay yeah. Holmes lost his shoes, he can't play in the game. He's yeah. so frustrated. Yeah. And he's and got the ninth, feet than everyone else. Ninth inning comes, I think Jonathan Isaac is the closer. Yeah, I think so. If he's fresh and hasn't... Or I would think Canely first, then the Lysaga. You think so? Yeah. Canely's a better reliever. Yeah, I don't better know. track record. I don't know. Comment below. I mean, Canely's been paid by teams and like an actual vet reliever. Right. I mean, Jonathan Lysaga has a good year this year. He will get paid by teams. Jonathan Lysaga's best has been better than Tommy Canely's best. Oh, I don't think so. Tommy Canely in, was it 2018 or 2019 or 2017? 2017 was fucking awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I, Luizaga's best was better. Like 21, Jonathan Luizaga. Like he... Luizaga, statistically speaking, Luizaga's 2021 is better than any of Canely's seasons. Reliever stats are... Or a tough conversation. Right. But. Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've never, the Wisey has never made me feel like how Tommy Canely made me feel when he was in 2017. And then 2019, was he good again? 
Uh, I mean, that was... 2018, he wasn't. 2018, or Tommy. Was, he, was he needed the timeout? 2019, the stats don't look gaudy. He's good. Could just be 2017 is a great year, and 2021 was a not fun year. Could be as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, I think probably the both of them. I don't think they're stretching Canely out, so probably him. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think they would announce and they'd say, you know, we'll we'll figure it out who's going to close on which day. But um, hof- hopefully we don't have to have that conversation. Both with seven career saves. So look at that. How about that? How do you like that? How about that? How is Loisigo with inherited runners? He goes to the DraftKings Sportsbook. And he's like, you know what I'd like to inherit? Maybe a bonus bet if I get this first one wrong. All of my family's riches. And I won't even sweat it because at DraftKings, if you bet on the NBA, you'll get a no-sweat bet up to 1000 bucks. So if you get it wrong, you'll get a bonus bet back in that amount of money. Minimum deposit, $5. Sign up using promo code YANKS. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, promo code YANKS, and get a no-sweat bet. From Code Yanks, only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. This game last year, September 8th, he came in with a runner on third and one out. That's such bullshit. Mm. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> no, that's uh, that stinks. That stinks. Uh, then he gave a bunch of runs against the Brewers, but like, it's a tough spot to bring a guy in. He had six outings where he inherited runners. He allowed a runner to score in three of them, I believe. But I don't really default him for it too much. Seven. Seven and the, uh, a three he allowed him to score. Just give these guys clean innings. That's all you've been asking, if we're being honest. Yeah. I might just have to start just like asking Boone. How about some clean innings, Booney? For me. Phrase it like that, he can't say no. Right. Because that's just, you know, kind of buddy-buddy. You got anything else on Johnny Laws? Um, I mean, nothing too crazy. I, I think uh, have a, in an ideal Yankee season, which we're still hesitant to talk that way because we came off the worst one in 30 years, would love to have the defined... If Johnny Loisega has a defined bullpen role come October, and whether that's the first guy out, like, hey, no matter what the situation is in this playoff game, basically you're going to come in and we need you to keep it clean for 1.1, or are you like a pure eighth-inning setup guy? I don't know. Um, Who was the reliever that I was saying it was Marinaccio a couple PPPs ago? He had uh, the guy with the most at-bats against him, Santander. No hits. Right. The guys with the most at-bats against Johnny, they like him. Okay. Not good. They've learned him. Teoscar, Vladdy, both like hitting against him. Teoscar's gone, right? He's a Dodger. He'll be around June 4th through 7th. Mm. Uh, Vladdy, Verdugo's gone. All right, that's good. Bo Bichette. So the Blue Jays. I mean, he has to have, like, terrible numbers against the Blue Jays based on these... These things that I just found. These things that I just found. I wonder if those guys saw him a ton in the minors, too. It's like, yep, we know this guy. Seen him. Nicaraguan little guy. We like him. The nightmare. We got anything we got to touch base on? I don't know. I don't think so. Be healthy. Be healthy. Be healthy and you're good. No issues with the healthy little eyes again. Just can't bang Pretty much it. always good when he's healthy. Yeah. Just got to be healthy. Thanks for listening.
Bye.